All right, guys, today we are going to be doing a carburetor and fuel lines on an Echo PB250LN. All the parts will be in the description below. Today's video is sponsored by SuperClean. I'll put their uh, website in the description below. Any kind of mechanic shop needs to have degreasers and for absorbents. Um, all the parts come in a kit. So it's got everything you need, spare fuel filter, extra primer balls, air filter, fuel line with the rubber grommet, spark plug, gaskets, everything you'll need for this job. Um, this customer thought they were going to work on it themselves and forgot to put a few parts back on. So we got to replace everything. We're just going to go through it. All right, so first thing you do is take off your air filter cover. Air filter, which is still in good shape. Um, two T27 Torx. I use a still tool. It's got the T27 Torx on the end of it. Um, spark plug socket on it. Um, they're cheap on Amazon. I'll put this in the description below as well. Okay, so we're going to remove the throttle cable. Goes back and off that hook. And then uh, the two fuel lines, pop them off. Clean off the gas tank. And using the degreaser. Just so you don't get any dirt in the tank when you pull this grommet out. That works really well, actually. That worked great. All right. Then you take your flathead screwdriver. And you stick it under the rubber and you pop it right out using the gas cap as leverage. Um, usually you want to hold it with, with the other hand. I can't get good leverage on it without holding it. But yeah, I'm going to have to hold it with the other hand. Get the uh, thing out. There we go. And we're going to drain this gas out. Um, make sure you clean this off really good first. Make sure there's no dirt. There we go. Just don't want any dirt in your tank because brand new carburetor fuel lines, you don't need dirt getting in it and clogging it up. Um, the old gasket you can use too. Um, it's fine. A little degreaser in there. Try not to get it down in the hole there. That'll keep it from sparking. We'll dry all that out. You get the gas cap off and out of the way is simple. It just pulls right out, no problem. All right, drain this into your, uh, drain it in a container, take it to uh, uh, somewhere that will actually take care of it and dispose of it properly. So we got to get the uh, new carb prepped. Um, you see this is at the wrong angle. It's got to be at this angle like this one. First thing though, we're just going to go ahead and pop this cap off. So we need this throttle cable. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to push this like this, and then you're going to push this cable through. And you're just going to pop this cable out of this side here. We'll just lift it up. It's hard to do with one hand. Pull it right out. Then you're going to go ahead, slide it in. The new Hello. carburetor. Yeah. So you push it through, and then uh, this brass <laughs> piece here has a thin side and a fat side. So there's a narrow side and a big, big side. So you turn, you can make sure that the narrow side's on this side, the big side's on that side. You're going to turn it till the cable lines up, and then you'll just lay the cable inside of it like that. And then you're going to pull this end of the cable. That barrel will actually slide right into that notch. Just like that. 
Boom, cable set up. Now we got to get this lined up. See the angle that this is? We got to tighten this until it's at that depth. See how much space is there and how much space is there? We're going to tighten it until it's at that depth and then it's at that angle. So turn it clockwise. Just like that. Cap will go right back on. Um, you don't even need to have the cap if you don't want it, but it, it just pushes down, clicks in place. All right, now we're going to go ahead and concentrate on the fuel line. So the fuel filter line with the fuel filter, I'm going to pull up this way a little bit just so it's a little longer than this line so we can tell them apart. Just like that. So the longer one is the one with the fuel filter. The fuel filter line goes on the bigger nipple. The other line is the return line. That goes on the littler nipple. And then this part here is the vent for the gas tank. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, stick this filter down in. Get the rest of it down in. Longer ones filter, shorter ones return. We're going to put the back side of the grommet in the tank like that. And then from the front side with a flathead screwdriver, you're going to push it in from one side to the other, just slowly and gently. And it'll, it, it takes a little bit, but it will actually go in. So I'm slowly working it in, pushing it in. You got to hold this at the same time as you push this in from this side to this side or from this side to this side. Work from side to side, whatever. You just got to keep going until it goes in. It's a very tight fit, but that's how everything doesn't leak. All right. So then we're going to go ahead. We're just going to move the uh, uh, vent up underneath. Move these off to the side. We're going to go ahead and attach the carburetor. So we're going to get the throttle cable up into place first. It's easier with two hands. Oh, let me do two hands. Yeah, I'm going to leave the old gasket on because it's in great shape. If it isn't, and you, you got to take it off, to clean both, clean the the um, intake manifold off, and you're going to put the new one on where it's down like that. That little hole right there is a vacuum line, so you need to have make sure that it's got the vacuum line on it. Um, that's the vacuum line that runs the fuel pump that's built into the carburetor. So I'm going to use the old one. Um, choke arm towards the recoil. We're going to put this through the carburetor. Like this. Armor ball to the right. Then we're going to line it up. And then we're going to screw it down into the intake. Got it down. Make sure your cable's still in place. And make sure that the throttle is working properly. And that cable is fine. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and hook up the fuel lines. The, again, the bigger nipple is the filter. The smaller nipple is the uh, return line. So, the longer fuel line is the one that goes on the filter which goes to the bigger nipple which is the right side the one closest to the engine so you're going to cut it to length it's going to need just about that much cut off of it you're going to stab it on to the nipple got it right if there's no kinks in it if it was a little longer it could have kinked it then we're going to take the shorter one hook it up to the um, overflow the little nipple just like that and the vent just kicks off into the back here and it's out of the way all right we're going to put some gas in the tank and prime it up just like that you know that's right if it doesn't prime you look in the tank you see foamy bubbles you've got your two fuel lines backwards Right, put this gas cap back in, just squish this down, and it just kind of folds in half a little bit. 
it down in. Boom. Screw it on. All right. New air filter on. Air filter assembly. Choke label towards the choke or thin side up, fat side down. Screw it in place. Alright, now the only other thing is if uh, it's uh, uh, revving a little too high at idle, you would turn this screw right here counterclockwise. If it's idling too low, turn it clockwise. So you can adjust your idle right there. Alright guys, uh, if this helped you out in any way, shape, or form, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks to my new sponsor, Super Clean, for this video. Uh, today's t-shirt was brought to you by Super Clean. If you want to do any advertising through my channel, message me. I'd be more than happy to help you. Peace.